yeah so let let's now the next topic is a process change okay so okay so what do you mean basically a process change okay and how we can create a process change in bw for hana so basically process change okay you can say a uh, automated uh, data load is called process change okay so okay. we can we can we can create here in bw for okay so we will see how to create a process change okay so there is a two way basically first way you can automatically generate a process change based on your data flow okay and second okay. way you can create a process change in bw for hana so let's come into the system and i'll show you how to create a process yes okay so now we can come into the bw for hana modeling hana studio and i would like to show you how can create a process change okay so before okay. creation the process change okay i would like to show you how we can generate okay based process yes. change based on the data flow okay yes so let's here okay i would like to show you any data flow so let's i am selecting any data flow let's see this data flow okay oh. so this is the data flow okay so okay. data is coming okay. from okay flat file and load into your new dsos ads okay. okay so so you can uh, create or you can generate a process change based on this data flow so let's see here is okay. a option okay this is the data flow yes. i am going to generate a process change click here and you can create a new data okay process change based on this okay. so let's i am creating here new okay new and you can see template i am creating that this process process data, flow. data okay. flow okay and click finish so now yeah it will automatically go into your bw cockpit system is it is also possible to create a process chain in sap gui also right yes yes i will uh, i will show you see this is okay. you can see this is the way i mean if you automatically you can see here just one second yes, yes. Yeah. yeah you can see this is the process chain okay it is already okay it created okay okay so you can you can check it here if it is any issues you can check here see there is no any issues okay if you want to save okay. as you can save as if you want to save as okay. you can save as okay if you don't want to save you could no issue you already save it okay but if you want to search it okay if it is really it is there or not you can go here okay under here you can go process chain editor okay okay and there is an option here you can see filters here you can see search okay. process chain okay you can see the process change see this is the process change yes, 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 yes. okay so this is the one way you can uh, create your process change or you can see this process and also available here uh, you can see this process change if you came here this process change folder new process change right we have created called or you have to save it first the process change should be here it is available here you can or you can search here it, if it is not available yeah, it is it, there it is there right on the left side okay okay where yeah, is that yeah above 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 no 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 left side in the middle this down right. down 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 and this next next no no up up, up okay gpc underscore new new gpc new. Uh, uh, yeah yes got yes, it this is. one right this one right okay see yeah yeah this is the one okay so this is the one okay, okay. so you can see also in here let's see go to the gui and i'll show you the process okay. is also available there so go yes, to yes. rs pc or go to rsa one both you can go here you can search here that even also here see here okay. also see this is also here available see oh, right? okay 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 so this is the how you can generate okay you can generate okay. the process change based on a 
data flow okay okay, okay. so now now i am going to the second things i am going to show you how can you create it see this is a, as i told you that is a generate if you data flow okay. already have it how you can generate a process sense but the second points how you can create it so let me tell you how we can create a process sense okay so okay so for the process sense creations you have to go into always into here okay on bw cockpits okay see here i am going into the cockpits first under cockpits yeah so this is the cockpits okay under cockpit you will see under modeling you will have a menu under modeling under modeling you will have a process and editor you can just double click on this yeah now you can see so many process and existing process and are available so you can choose any one and you can edit it you can have any changes modify on existing process and you can do it but i would like to create a new process chain. so here is the option called create click on create now you can see the new process chains editor will up, open here so now you can see here the left panel you will have okay create options yeah you can here put the description of your process chain okay or any description you can see new chains or something whatever you want description you can put it here chains new chains okay here you have to put the info area where you want to okay add this process chain so z i underscore trainer okay this is the info area you can search it here go here yeah available just select okay you select here now scheduling options are there okay what is basically scheduling option you want server basically by default this is server okay background process basically by default okay whenever uh, going to execute this so who will execute by default in background that is b w remote okay is a more you have options current user or b w remote so back end user always have a b w remote okay if you can change you can change the current user okay now priority how you want to run the process and based on what priority a b c so let's normal is a c priority okay now client specific if you want to run this process chain or schedule this process and based on any client current client specific or by default so i would like by default i don't want any client uh, specific okay now stream if you have any stream you can check it here otherwise leave it now monitoring how monitor like um, automatically monitor reset automatically send alert if any case any error okay so these are the local failure as a success so whatever the option you want you can check here otherwise you can okay see now okay. you can now you have a new chains are available so this is a start okay so now here okay i would like to add here i would like to add some steps of process sense so how could you add you can see here add process add collector add decisions so whatever the steps you want to add in your process chain you can add here so i would like to add here process so add here click here you can see it is added automatically okay now you can see here is an option so global view it is by default global view okay you can see global view okay now you can see here okay you can see here okay you can uh, zoom out zoom in as per your requirement see you can zoom out zoom in so it is a option here okay so now here i would like to add your steps here so you can click here see it is asking process type what is the process type you want to add it so i would like to hear dtp process step dtp so this is a dtp okay so you have to put the dtp name here so how will put it name so you will have here you will choose here i mean what is your uh, data flow you want to load the data using process chain so you can select here the data source basically so dso's let's say i'll show you here i would like to show this one yeah yeah so this is the dtp i would like to add the process chain so this dtp load the data from this 
DSO to this DSO. Okay, so let's the technical name I'm going to copy here. The technical name is this, copy this. Okay, and you can search here. Or click, okay, or you can just click here and search here. See, automatically will come here. Just double click, automatically will come here. See, this question automatically will reflect here. Click, okay. See, it is added here, automatically added. Now, the next steps I'm going to add to activate it, okay? So activation steps, you have to add it here. So go here and check your activation steps. So activations, see, automatically is there. This is the ADSO activations, click this one, okay? Okay, I would like to use variant, okay? Existing variant. So which one? This is the activations, okay, new. Okay, click, okay. So before click, you will have other options, run time, okay? If you if you have any error, okay, you want to debug or not, you can put it here the time, okay, delay time. Reputations, if it case some failure attempt, okay, so it will what happen, like it will wait some time or immediate going to, okay, repeat that step. So you can put the interval of reputations here. So here options are there, you can use it. Mail, if you have any error on DSO activation error, so you can mail, you can mail it, okay, someone, okay, or if you mail, so you can create it, okay, so you can use basically, you can put it here, you can use to create, see, you can create, okay, if you want to create some pages, so it will create that automatically, if DSO failure, mail goes to the particular DL or mail, so this is the, we have options, okay, now, so currently we don't have any uh, such kind of requirement, okay, so that's why I'm not using this. Okay, just click, okay. Now you can see it is added here. Okay, now, okay, once you're done, okay, so you can have a save option. So before save options, you make sure you everything, okay, done. Like I don't want to add any more steps here. So there is an add collector, add decision. If you want to add anything, see, you can add it, decision. If you want to add collector, okay, kind of and or, or operator, you can add it but I don't want. So if you already have it, how can delete it? Select this, you can delete options are available here. See, delete it. If you select here, delete it. Okay, so this is how you can adjust here, global adjust. Okay, now property is available here. You can see the property of this. Okay, whatever you have already selected, you want to change the property, you can change it. So this is how we can create a process. And so once your changing development is done, then you will have an option called save button. So you can save here. Description and name give the here technical name. Get PC created. Okay. You can check any created. Okay. Chain. Okay. This is the name created chain. Okay. I have given some. Okay. Created chain. Okay. Now you can. Okay. Yes. Your chain has been going to created chain is going to save it okay you can check okay this save okay now you can have a check options you can check whether it is correct or not see it is giving some error might be some issues so what is the issues see created some object is not available something is missing is correct then why it is giving error So let's check one more time. So it's still giving error. So might be something. So let me delete this. Then again, I'm saving. Yeah, I'm checking this one. I still, it is giving error. Okay, might be something we are missing here. Properties. Let you pay execute mail yeah since everything is fine okay so do one thing okay let me add one more time 
add collectors go here select dso activations a dso activations dso activation select here use variant i don't want to use variant you can use that is the we have a new select here save it p1 it's i'm changing p1 now check see it is something is giving error okay so do one thing something might be uh, some error is there okay so do one thing already we have created the uh, we will check it that why it is giving error so meanwhile already we have created another process and similarly i would like to show you so let's show you that process chain see here we have a call process and data flow okay one second yeah so this is the not a let's say one once new new that we have created so let's i'll show you once again yeah so you can see this is the process chain new i have created last day so look like this is okay you can check how you can check it go here okay see is it consistent okay sometimes okay so it is created okay now you can see it is okay okay but it will not run because let me check some other because it will still having some issues in this because why because this is a flat file loaded okay so flat file some might be some giving some issues okay so do one thing i am checking some uh, relevant process chains okay so give me one second okay so let me check this one okay so this is a relevant okay. okay so let me check this one jet pc okay so what once you check it you can how you can check check here so i see it is consistent this is okay 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 what you need to do you have to activate it so this is already activated it so once activated then you will have here options called monitoring okay you can go monitor it okay so monitoring you can see either it is scheduled or not you can see this is this is not at schedule it is success okay you can see schedule it is someone is scheduled it okay so before you can you have to unschedule it you can click unschedule i don't want to schedule it i have to unschedule it see i have unschedule it okay so now okay see it is already unschedule it so what i need to do go to modeling and i need to schedule it so let before schedule it i am going to metadata okay see okay. metadata so what is see this is a metadata basically so what are the things are available you can see metadata now we will have a go to the monitoring options okay let's okay. go here so before going monitoring you have to check here how you want to schedule it see a start immediate how you want to start immediate no recurrence okay and no work day restrictions i would like to and there is a mail if you want anything mail done you can send the mail to the okay so i don't want as of now just immediate i would like to start it okay and you have to go to monitoring and you need to schedule it okay see there is an option called schedule it okay click on schedule so once schedule so it's going to start okay immediately so you can see here this is the process chain is get got completed here see 137 milliseconds takes time to come start it and complete okay okay green symbol that means okay everything is fine you, you can see the status here see everything is fine so you can okay. see everything is fine okay so this is the how the processing is got loaded it similarly this you can monitor under here go to here main go to here and search your chain here whatever you have trigger okay. just now 
you can see here, go to here and you can see, see the process chain name would be here. Let me, uh, you have to search here. Yes, you can see the process chain is okay. Already scheduled. Okay. Now this process chain, you, you can see under here BW for HANA. See here, BW for HANA, you go to the RSA one, you will same process chain would be here. Okay. See, you can search it here. See. Yes. Okay. See, already is created, right? If you want yes. to see, you want to schedule it, you can schedule it here as well. See, it is already scheduled. Someone is already scheduled it. See, it is scheduled it. So, but I want to unschedule it. How you can unschedule it? This is the process chain. I would like to unschedule it. Go execute and remove from schedule. See, now it is removed from schedule. So, no scheduling is there. Now you can come okay. here and re refresh. So, now it is not uh, in scheduled. See, it is saying it's scheduled, right? So, okay. So, you can refresh. It is not scheduled now. See, not scheduled. Got it? See. Okay. Okay, so this is the option, not not schedule now. Okay, now I'm yes. now now I am going to execute this process chain here. So similar process chain is going to execute there only. In your okay. so let's I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to schedule this process chain. See, it is scheduled. Okay, now it is loading the data. Now it is completed. Now you can check this log here in the BW. See, you can see here is also loaded, right? See? Yes. Okay, similarly. If you want, if you, you have a more, if you want, you can rephrase it. Again, you can go here and schedule it and again schedule it. See, it is already, see, it is going to schedule. Similarly, you can go here and rephrase it. Again, new instant is go to here. It is still not rephrased. Okay, one second, check it here. It is not reflecting. I guess it is not schedule it. Let's see. Okay, unschedule first, and then you have to schedule it again. Okay, so yeah, now it is, okay, see it is, now you can check it here, rephrase it, go back, go back, RSA1, okay, you can double click on your process chains, go to here, Okay, it is saying it is not, okay. Uh, okay. So this is the how basically, okay. So how you can check the data, okay. You can right click here, go to manage and you can check the data. Is there or not, okay. see? See, thrice time I have loaded. See, it is there, right? So you can check, okay. Two records is every time is loaded, okay. And similarly, you can activate it. Sometimes it is not activated, you can activate it. Okay. See, it is, if you're not activated, you can manually, you can activate it. Okay. So this is the, way you can okay load the data okay similarly you can check the data i mean how you can check the data go to sc and table name okay particular table like yes. vic okay and the, the dso you can put the dso name yeah this is the dso we have it the name is zc adso oh and you just display you can see whatever the two records see two records is available here so this is how you can load the data using a process chains okay and you okay. can you can create here either you can create here the process chains or you can create here as well even you can use to create in gui features even here you can create the process and whenever I mean whatever you want okay whenever you want to create in cockpits or, or okay or here okay similar way you can create okay. here okay similar way you can, <laughs> we have a more like a transactional code sp13 or rspc so monitoring generally rspcm there is t code rspcm okay. so another t codes is called okay there is a no rspcm Sellers and okay. T code. Sellers RSPCM. Okay. So here, see, there is no procession included here. See, is there now. So you see, by default, is so many process things. So this is a way you can, okay, you can uh, process the uh, 
See, I have triggered this process chain or this generic one. So whatever the process chain you have it, you can here, you can go here and filter or check it here, right? That we have a process chain, right? That is a process chain name is this one. You can check it here. The process chain name this one, right? Copy this. Z A D S O underscore Z D F Z D F underscore A D A D S O A D S O. Take it. It is not available. Okay. So now issues. Okay. So you have to add it. If it is not sometime, it is not available. So you can add it. Okay. So. So this is a way, okay, you can do it, okay, and so this is a way, okay, if you want to schedule here, okay, how you can schedule it, see here, this is an option schedule, even you can go to a priority, you can schedule it, so similar, you can see here, you can go here and check, okay, it is not scheduled, okay. why it is, it is not scheduled, let me check <laughs> why it is not scheduled, so let me check the variable, variant, why it is not uh, scheduled. Wait, RSA one. Yeah, just yes. double click on this process chain. Okay, go to here and check that. See, it is already display scheduling. Already someone is, see, already is scheduled. See, okay. Okay, you have to remove from schedule first. Okay, how you can okay. see? Go to execute and remove from schedule. See, it is now, it is removed. <laughs> okay. And now you have to go and Make it here some changes, do some changes. Go to immediate, okay, save it, save it, come back, and now you can schedule it. So now it is going to schedule. Go to job log and check. Okay. See, it is, still it is not showing some changes, right? We did some, right? But why it is not scheduling? It is correct. You... Here. Exit, remove from schedule, but we have again scheduled it, no? Okay, okay, right, 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 you are right. Okay, so this is how, okay, we are basically doing, okay, so let okay. me, so if someone is already scheduled it, so I have removed, okay, so you have to remove okay, it. Okay. So let's see, this is the way, okay, let's, if you double click on any process chain, okay, so this is a, a, a way you can create, even here, you here even you can create it in RSA one you can okay. create your process chains and do it okay even we have a okay. more, more T code RSA one RSPC one single process chain monitoring okay so if you okay. want single process chain monitoring you can do it okay using we have multiple screen we have RS RSPC one okay so this is the chain if you put the name and execute it you will Okay, monitor the change. So this is the way how we can basically use to create your process chain. You can use it and okay. use it. Okay, and as per the requirement, you can use here modeling options. Okay, under modeling, okay. under process chains, you will see here either you can search your process chain or you can create your process chain so based on your okay. requirement. You can do it. So this is the we have a. Uh, a process and creation and understanding uh, the process and how we can create it. Okay. So, so this is all. So next we will have a next topic. Okay. So let's we will 